Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do another crayon art. I'll be coloring my original characters, Naomi and Zenichi from Now and Zen. The title is a play on words from the common phrase, Now and Then. I'm also going to tell you a bit of the story, but before we start, I would like to give a shout out to Crayola, and let them know how wonderful their crayons are. I also like that they have a wide range of colors that make coloring more fun. In fact, I'm having so much fun with it that I decided to make several videos using only crayons. I'll be doing crayon art every Saturdays for the month of August and September, so don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. A like in your comments is also greatly appreciated. Alright, let's get back to now and Zen. I'm now going to tell you a bit about the artwork and the story behind it. In this cover page that I'm working on, Zenichi surprised Naomi with a bouquet of flowers, and she seemed very surprised by this notion. Naomi, or now, has been friends with Zenichi, ever since they were little. Naomi and Zenichi are the same age. Both their families are middle class, living in a small town. Zenichi's mom died after giving birth to him, so Ken, his dad, raised him single-handedly. His dad works as an assistant in a local TV station. As for Naomi's parents, her mom, Mia, and dad, Gio, runs a small restaurant named Good Day. Their restaurant is popular not just because of the good food, but because of their peculiar menu, like, sunny side up with rice and shine, feel good filet, how have you beans, and so on and so forth. Since they live in a small town, Naomi and Zenichi's parents were also childhood friends, so no wonder that they too, became close friends. Zenichi and his dad goes to the Good Day restaurant very often, and Naomi and Zenichi always hang out and play. Naomi is outspoken, boisterous, and boyish, and would always challenge Zenichi to a sparring match. Mild-mannered Zenichi, although he's the captain of the Taekwondo team, would always let Naomi win. On their 15th birthday, Zenichi wants to surprise Naomi. He asked his dad to take them with him in the TV station so they can watch the filming of a martial arts action TV series. The main actor was Naomi's big-time crush so Zenichi knows that she'll have a really good time. Zenichi was so happy seeing how Naomi enjoyed the day. She even got to meet her idol and talk to him. Zenichi couldn't stop laughing seeing the ever-outspoken Naomi tongue-tied as she talks to the famous actor. As they were about to go home, Zenichi's father was approached by his colleague, and he seemed distraught. The man says that they are currently filming a commercial for a big client, but one of the talents did not show up. Ken wanted to help his colleague and asked what do they need, as he may be able to help. The man says that they need a boy. They need someone tall and about 15 to 17 years old. Then, the man suddenly stopped mid-explanation, and looked at Zenichi with his eyes wide open. He exclaimed and said, Ken, this boy, he's exactly what we needed for the shoot. He even looks better than the talent that didn't show up. He's perfect. Zenichi's dad shyly says, um, that's my son. He doesn't have any experience working as a talent. Zenichi's dad was reluctant, but after a few moments of desperate negotiation, Ken agreed to let Zenichi take the role. After a few weeks, Zenichi and his dad were having their usual dinner in Good Day restaurant along with Naomi and her parents. I have an announcement, says Ken. As we all know, a few weeks back, Zenichi replaced one of our talents and shot the commercial for one of our biggest client. That soft drink commercial went viral and our client was so happy that their new product became so popular. Ken added, they said that it's because of Zenichi, Ken exclaimed. Everybody was so happy and applauded. They all congratulated Zenichi for the accomplishment. Then, Mia, Naomi's mom, noticed that Ken suddenly looked a bit troubled and asked why. Ken then answered, it's just that the network wanted Zenichi to be signed up as one of their major talents. That's a good thing, right? Says Mia. Ken replied, but then, we now have to move to the big city where the main headquarter of the TV network is. Everyone went silent. They are all very close friends, and they know that the kids would also be sad now that Zenichi and his dad have to go and live in a different city. Fast forward three years after, Zenichi and Naomi lost touch. Both got very busy living their own lives. Naomi got busy with school, working part-time, and helping out her parents in running the Good Day restaurant. Zenichi, becoming a famous celebrity, got caught up with being offered deals and endorsements left and right. Even Zenichi's dad got so busy being Zenichi's manager. 
Then one day, Zenichi and his dad suddenly showed up in the Good Day restaurant. After three long years, Naomi and her parents were so shocked, their mouths dropped open, and Mia even dropped the tray she was carrying. They were all so happy to be reunited again that they closed the restaurant early to celebrate. Naomi's dad, Gio, agreed to close up early as many people are starting to turn up hearing that Zenichi is in their restaurant. Mia agreed before their store gets ran over by a stampede of teenage girls wanting to see Zenichi. Zenichi and his dad came back because he will be filming a movie in their town. Naomi was so happy that she got to see Zenichi again even if it's just for three months. Weeks passed, Zenichi and Naomi spent a lot of time together. Although, Naomi almost always gets in trouble because of the fangirls that were after Zenichi. Today is their 18th birthday and Zenichi invited Naomi to the park where they usually hang out as kids. They had a good time talking and goofing around. Then, Naomi noticed the big paper bag that Zenichi was carrying and asked, Hey, Zenichi, you've been carrying that big bag throughout the day. Aren't you tired yet? You want me to carry that for you for the meantime? You know I'm stronger than you think, you remember? I always beat you in a sparring match. Zenichi just smiled and chuckled loudly. Naomi looked at Zenichi and for whatever reason, something feels different. Something is off. It's like she's seeing him for the first time. Then, Naomi snapped out of her moment as Zenichi pulled out the contents of the bag. It's a big bouquet of flowers. Naomi was flustered. She don't know what to say. Her heart started racing. Then Zenichi said, I thought you might want to have it. A fan gave it to me earlier when I was having a press conference. I just thought you might want to have it. Naomi nervously laughed, and with a sigh of relief, thanked Zenichi. Days have passed and Naomi couldn't shake off the feeling of what happened that day when Zenichi gave her the bouquet of flowers. She is starting to see Zenichi in a different light and is getting confused of what she feels for him, although, she just shrugs, and shakes it off. Fast forward, it is now the last month of Zenichi's shoot in the town. One day, Zenichi's dad, Ken, went to Naomi's house to hang out with her parents. Mia and Gio, were still preparing the food so Ken and Naomi talked for a bit. Naomi asked Ken where Zenichi is. Ken says that his son is still filming as of the moment but will be joining them soon. Naomi then mentioned that Zenichi gave her flowers, and that it was from a fan. Naomi showed Ken a picture of the bouquet. Ken had a confused look on his face, and said. Hmm. Zenichi did had a press conference that day, and received a lot of gifts from his fans, although I don't recall him receiving a bouquet. I have a pretty good memory you know, and I'm sure I'll remember a beautiful bouquet like that. Says Ken. At this time, Ken was scrolling through Zenichi's social media that he manages. Let me check here. Says Ken. I always have Zenichi take a picture with his fan and their gift, so I can post it on his social media as a thank you to his fans. That's strange though. So far, there's no bouquet here. Ken shrugged and said. I may have just missed it, and wasn't able to take a picture. There were, a ton of people that day, and it was so chaotic. Although, are you sure Zenichi didn't buy that for you? Says Ken with a sly smile on his face. Naomi got flustered and replied with a shaky voice, that it's not possible, and that Zenichi may even have someone he likes already. Ken replied, oh, yes. He did mention a while back, that there is already someone that he likes so much. Naomi was a bit disappointed of what she heard, but she was relieved at the same time. Ken continued to say. While he was filming in Germany, he even went out of his way to stop by a toy store. He had a custom teddy bear made for that special girl. He said that the teddy is yellow, because yellow means to never forget. He had a red bow tied to its neck, as a symbol of the threads of fate, and a heart shape on its tummy because the girl likes to eat heartily. Ken was suddenly interrupted by a loud gasp from Naomi. Ken asked worriedly what's wrong. Naomi's face was all red, and she looks as if she had seen a ghost. Ken looked at the direction where Naomi was looking. His jaw dropped. And there it was, sitting on the study table beside Naomi's bed. A yellow teddy bear with a red bow, and a heart-shaped tummy. Naomi spoke in a stuttering, cracking voice, and said. It, it was, anonymously delivered to me, on my 17th birthday. And that's all that I have for now, for now and zen. Thanks for listening and for reaching up to this point. I really appreciate you hanging on till the end of the story. Or is it? Anyways, let me know what you think of now and zen. What do you think would happen next?
Let me know by leaving a comment below. I hope you enjoyed Now and Zen, and I'll see you on the next one.